having uh, Mr. Terence Stewart with us. Uh, and um, he's also uh, has given us the honor of being one of the artists of uh, Power Symbol, our 10th anniversary uh, exhibition. So let's talk more to Terence. I've been uh, seeing you watching your works, you know, I've been seeing your career develop over the past few years and uh, your style and technique uh, have been uh, evolving and uh, for the better of course and could you just tell me a little bit about that please? I start with very traditional uh, Chinese even work. Uh, I still maintain using uh, Chinese brush, uh, Chinese color, either black and white or, or colors in and uh, to draw on traditional uh, rice paper. Right. Nowadays they have a name called New Ink Work. Right. New Ink Work. Mm -hmm. So uh, because I my collector, I myself like natural so much. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, during my travel to China, uh, like uh, Shangri-La, mm -hmm. uh, they say uh, Iceland. Right. Uh, yeah. Even I, I went to uh, France, Paris. I will be just visit around those uh, countrysides. Mm -hmm. So when I come back to Singapore, normally I will, uh, beside doing doing on the spot painting, mm -hmm. I will try to uh, use my memory to produce some work. But all these are all inspired by your perspectives from nature. Yes. Like always. Exactly. Right. I want to create something which is new in the market, uh, which is. Uh, 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 simple can be easily uh, understand by the art lover, but yet difficult to difficult to produce. That's true. But uh, you are, you have this uh, role as an artist, right? Mm -hmm. As a creator. But uh, uh, another thing that's special about you is that you have helped so many artists develop their careers as well. Because you you yourself own an art gallery. Yeah. And uh, uh, would you could you tell us how you manage both roles as an artist who nurtures other artists or, or, or more like a gallery owner who nurtures other artists and an artist who creates constantly for yourself and for the market. Uh, I'm, I've been practicing the, the, the roles uh, in, in myself for the last uh, past maybe 20 or okay. 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I start, actually I start draw and later on I collect painting mm -hmm. before I at my side and manager to a gallery. Right, right. So I have drawing experience, I have collecting experience. I'm lucky enough being selected as a, a president of the Singapore Art Society. Yes, yes. So in fact I still need to continue help the Singaporean uh, to sell their work mm. uh, and, and promote the Singapore art, Singaporean artists to actually other countries as of well. Course. Terence, I wanted to wrap up this uh, chat with um, with your perspective on what is power for this because that's a, that's the concept for uh, our 10th anniversary exhibition, Power Symbols. Symbols of empowerment in contemporary art. So why are the paintings that that we can see in this specific exhibition, how, how do you relate to power in your art? When we talk about power, that only apply to certain uh, art collector. Right. right. Mm -hmm. uh, those normal students, they might can't understand. Mm -hmm. so, I understand. So you, you, you actually, you're looking at the viewer as the, as, the, as the subject that will give power to your painting. And there's only power when they understand it and relate exactly. to your work. If they, are, they, they, they don't understand, yeah. actually the painting is just a, a color. It has no power in other words. Exactly. You know, fantastic. I like that. Yes. Actually, I'm working toward that. Wonderful, wonderful. Well said, uh, uh, Terence. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, once again, it's an honor to have you as part of our exhibition.